just up here doing a day hike today. Yep. And we will get to the falls and see if it is really dry or not. I'm thinking of Well, guys, we are here in Dayton, Tennessee, uh, on a trail that goes up to Laurel Falls. Now, this is not in the Smokies. This is the Laurel Falls in Dayton, Tennessee. Uh, it's going to be about a five mile hike. It's about two and a half miles in, two and a half miles out. Uh, it's supposed to be a pretty nice view. And this is a part of the Cumberland State Trail. I guess they're going to be connecting these trails to that if they haven't already. Haven't read up enough on it yet. Looks like we've got some pretty nice views up through here. There is a park uh, employee maintenance guy just said there's a cougar up here on the trail. Uh, somewhere that they've it's been spotted a cougar with two cubs. There's also a black bear up here And he said watch out for copperheads and uh, timber rattlesnakes, so We'll have to be careful while on this trail, I guess Cool bridge. Yeah. There's another big bridge going to be. Uh, <laughs> we just about had a blooper there. Wow. You know what? We didn't put any bug stuff on. There's already bugs flying around. I didn't bring it either. I it. Oh, did you? Wow, look at this. Holy mackerel. Wow. Look at all these rocks. There are campsites up through here too, so uh, I'm going to have to look into that and maybe come down this way and go camping because there's a, up a, near the falls, there's a campsite there, Lowell Creek campsite, and uh, there's a few others. Uh, I'm going to have to look into it, see if you need a permit or if you just go up here. I've seen a sign that says uh, camping permitted only in de designated campsites, so I'll look into that and let y'all know. Wow, Neat little off. rock formations here. Is, Is that, that a campsite? No, but it does have little seats here. You could actually come up here and see, sit and eat. Okay, there's a big rock cliff up there, and there's a tunnel right here. Is this the mining thing that they say don't go in? Wow. I think this is the mining thing that they say that you're not supposed to go in. It's not, uh, it's, it's not marked not to go in, but on the website it said not to go in there. Uh, of course, which I started to do. There are all kind of little pools and just little small waterfalls before we even get up to the falls. There's little paths that you can walk down. I guess the children come out here and take a dip in the water. And it looks like it would be pretty fun. Maybe uh, enticing to go jump in it myself. <laughs> It's supposed to be uh, like a high of 95 today. Rain showers around 6, but we'll be backing off the trail by then. This is just right here on the trail. And it's uh, got a little stream running down into the creek. This is a really, so far, we're almost a mile 
into the trail and so far it's a really easy trail I think it gets a little bit strenuous up toward the falls and I, if I remember reading correctly it's an easy trail for the first uh, two miles I believe so we'll report back later now there is a trail leading down to this cool little water hole that you could actually take a really nice dip in. It looks pretty deep from here too. And you've even got this this rock. That rock right there, you could just jump right in right there. That is cool. This is a, a little trail that comes off of the trail. It comes right here to this overlook. And you can got a really good view here. Yeah, there is a little whirlpool there. Wow. You could sit right in the hole there. Point four miles in and I think we are starting to climb uh, yeah we are right here anyway I don't know for how long though So the metal footbridge that is out is uh, like 1.8 miles into the trail. So it looks like we're going to have to walk back through that and come back down through here and cross over right in there and then come back up to the trail. We're getting close to the falls, but you've really got to watch for the white blazes because the way the crevices are in these rocks that you have to walk through. Of course, I've got to step up this. Gotta, oh goodness, we got to almost climb up it. But you've got to really watch where the white blazes are or you can get lost back in here. So, looks like we've got a little bit of a cave. Oops. Looks like we've got a little bit of a cave right here, and the trail goes up under, I think that other, I think the other part that went up, that trail that we didn't take, goes and bypasses this. Oh yeah, you've really got to watch where you're going on this trail, and this after two miles or so it really gets strenuous and the trail is not marked good it looks like it actually dead ends when you think you're at the falls and you're not at the falls find out we passed by a couple of hikers that they thought the trail ended right there they saw us on the way back down and they said that the water the waterfall was dry so now that we've uh, found the trail again, we passed by some campers that camped out here last night, and they let me know that you don't—you just have to go online and register so they know you're here. There's no charge for camping out at the primitive campsite here. So looks like a pretty good place to camp, and we will get to the falls and see if it is really dry or not. I'm thinking there's probably water falling off of it, though. We'll show you when we get there. Well, I hear the water, so I know we've got to be here. It's just keeping an eye on those white blazes. Oh, I can see the falls right up there through the trees. Wow. That's beautiful. Can you see it? the 
falls. But I want to get up there to see it, but I'm going to have to climb up over all these rocks to get up there. So when I get up there, we'll uh, take another look at it. Well, there's really a nice breeze coming off the fall here. And here, all that water makes up that stream going down through there. That's pretty cool. It's way up. Of course, you've got to be careful here because I'm standing on wet rocks right now. And let me see if I can turn around because we don't want no blessings right here. That goes, see I'm standing on a wet rock. It goes down, all the way down through there. It's really nice up here. And the campsite was on past this, but I didn't even see where to get to the campsite. I may have to look for that in just a few minutes, but we're going to grab a energy bar, eat that, protein bar, and we'll be on our way back down. So, by the time we got lost, it was like 3.08 miles is what I've got on my trail tracker that we came up here to the falls. Found a little nice shady spot to sit down and eat our bars. And as soon as we get through here, we'll be walking back down. Well, guys, we are back on the easy part of the trail. Of course, we got the view right over there. And we're probably got a mile or less to go on the trail. Again, this is the uh, Laura Creek Trail. It goes on up to Laurel Falls Laurel here in Dayton, Tennessee. What did you say, honey? Laurel Snow Trail. Laurel Snow Trailhead is where you start at because there's also a Laurel Snow uh, Trail that you break off of and going up to Laurel Snow. I think it's Laurel Snow Falls. I'll have to look that up. Snow Falls. Uh, is it Snow Falls? Laurel Snow Falls? No, just, just Snow Falls. Oh, Snow Falls. Laurel Snow. Okay, Laurel Dash Snow Falls. I've I've got my auto corrector here. That's the <laughs> Sorry, this, this it's a, it breaks up. It's Laurel Falls and, and Snow Falls. And Snow Falls. And you start at the Laurel Snow Trailhead, which is here in Dayton, Tennessee. No pun intended. Snow Falls. <laughs> but it's uh, the first part of it's a pretty easy hike. After about one. 0.8 miles to 2 miles in it gets rocky and treacherous and you do have to climb through as you've seen in the video you have to climb through a rock to go on the trail and that's where it gets tricky and kind of confusing you've got to keep an eye on the white blazes and make sure you stay on those and sometimes they are kind of hard to find but this has been a fun hike uh, we're going to go get in the car and we're gonna go get us some Baskin Robbins ice cream for our treat it's uh, ice cream time <laughs> hope y'all enjoyed the video go ahead like subscribe all that good stuff till next time get out and enjoy the outdoors